Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading and this is your monthly. Yes, but we will go advance. So we will discuss the June. All right. So this will be your monthly reading for June. And this is for Aries ascendant, moon rising, I mean Taurus rather. Taurus ascendant moon rising and venus placement on your chart jupiter may also resonate with the reading cross watchers are always welcome yes taurus we welcome cross watchers so cross watchers if i describe someone here just because you are connecting with a taurus you're gonna assume that it is you please don't all right because you're not the only person connecting with a taurus so if you got offended by my dis description and you know that it's a total opposite of you then it is not you okay i don't know you personally but you know yourself better so by the way this is not um like flipped already it's a vice versa tarot so you can see here this is what this nine of ones looks like up front and at the back this is how the nine of ones look like every deck here are in vice versa all right so we will use this as for your clarification okay so for those new in this channel you might want to consider subscribing for i am always hosting a party online what i mean by that is i am doing a live streaming and on the live stream you can ask me questions and that will be free of charge okay so taurus if you resonate with the reading congratulations if you do not resonate with the reading then come back to the reading after a week or two time is fluid if you resonate with some bits and pieces of the reading then still congratulations for i am doing a collective reading so taurus quick announcement this coming june we will be having a an instagram account youtube is for the reading okay then on the instagram um you're gonna see your lucky number and your lucky color and probably a small pictures of me of my nails kind of all right so i will announce it if it's already um made then there will be some changes by this coming june the changes will be i'll just remove the date all right say june 1st june 2nd instead i'm going to use the planet placement and you're going to have more readings because um let's say um june 1st and 2nd like what i am doing right um say it's full moon so i'm going to use june full moon then after two days because that's what i'm doing right let's say june June 1st and June the 2nd then I'm gonna release another video June 3rd and June 4th for those OGs you know that so I'm gonna use June um, June full moon and then the reading then June let's say 3rd and 4th is the waxing moon let's say June waxing moon and the reading all right so that and not only that because you're gonna have more readings because if there are planet placement like June Mercury retrograde so there's a lot there's a lot a lot of reading that will be available by this coming june so i'm very excited either way let's start with the reading taurus higher power and the two of cups some says that the two of cups is gemini but because there's a leo here some says it's a leo so you might be connecting with a gemini or a leo or has a gemini and a leo placement or you have gemini or leo placement in your uh, in your chart however you know deep in your heart that you are meant for this person you are meant for each other 
much as simple as that. You also know that there will be some challenges in this connection but you know that you can make it if in case that you are in a bad health as of the moment you know that you will be healed okay to a cups and the lovers it's a healing okay it's a healing card king of swords so someone here is a little it could be you or your significant other but someone here by the way cross watchers if you feel like you are the focal point of this reading claim it so Taurus if you feel like you are on the cross watcher side that's okay all right I'm not reading which side you at I am reading the energy so someone here is a little cutthroat with this connection someone here is kind of like overpowering the other see the devil someone here is a little manipulative so right away right at the bat we know that there is something wrong so you know that i just said it you know that you might have a little challenges with this with, with this coming june but you know that you can surpass this queen of swords actually i'm not seeing someone is overpowering power i mean overpowering the other i am seeing the difference here the thing that separates you both or the thing that is kind of like the challenges here because you are a match right your energy and their energy is like real match so no one wants to bow down to who right no one no, wa wants to bow down to other so the devil here could be your ego their ego okay because no one wants to you know no one wants to bow down but this is a match okay so I'm not sure if you will be playing Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I hope not. But energetically, it's kind of like that. The Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie movie. So you might also be connecting with um, a Capricorn or has a Capricorn placement on their chart. Or you have a Capricorn placement on your chart. But someone here, of course. If there's a battle, someone will have a victory. But that victory is a new beginning. You might be connecting with a Leo, I just mentioned. Um, someone's strength is being tested. Someone's strength is, someone's taming the bees in them. So there you go. One can be at the level of the other, but someone is taming the bees in them because they don't want trauma. Okay, they don't want trauma. They don't want to, you know, have more this agreement and this connection sometimes people will um, associate being aggressive as a friend but this person is much more stronger the reason being is because he or she knows that he or she can um, match the level of aggressiveness aggressiveness of the other however this person is taming the beast in them and it's much more stronger because there's a an energy fight with the significant other or with the other person or and you have a fight in yourself okay taming the beast in you is much more stronger than being aggressive so king of wands someone here will just you know a little will tame down but the energy is the same but we'll always talk about the truth because this person knows the the high priestess this person knows the ups and downs the you know neg uh, the positive and the negative side of this person you might also be connecting with an Aquarius or has an Aquarius placement on their chart or you have an Aquarius placement on your chart either way because whoever uh, whoever um, who's taming the beast in them um, they love the person and they put that person in a pedestal okay and just so you know high higher power and a high priestess it's almost the same when it comes to the energy because high priestess has the higher power so there's just one card here that I'm really bothered it's just the total match which is the devil okay so I want to clarify that 
So King of Swords again and the King of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles rather. See King of King of Swords rather uh, uh, King of Swords and Queen of Cups. So King of Swords showed up twice, which is someone is real egoistic, but like what I mentioned, someone is just, someone is a queen, okay, and knows the power, but someone here is, because of the love, this person is, you know, will just sit there and will try to understand. So this is your reading, Taurus. If you resonate with this reading, you can book a personal reading with me if you want to go in-depth. Click the subscribe button, smash that notification bell, and comment down below. I'm very interactive. Thank you so much for watching. Love and light to you. Namaste. See you in the next reading. Goodbye.